Hi, I'm Kat. I'm 16 years old. Have you ever done anything really crazy? You know, jump with a parachute or maybe eat some arthropod ghastly thing on a bet? I once bet that I could seduce 30 guys, but I never thought that I would have to seduce gay men. Watch the story to the end and you will know how I got out of the story and how I got into it. Since childhood, Chelsea and I have been the best of friends. We were so much alike that many even thought we were sisters. But the older we got, the more different we became. And the problem isn't in Chelsea, it's her parents. Well, you know, how to put it mildly, they are complete bores. Always too calm, adoring discipline and strict rules. But we still managed to dish it out to her parents and shake up their sleepy kingdom. So it went on till one day we crossed the line. A little carried away by the game, we, well, made a small flood. Her parents were furious and put Chelsea under house arrest for several months. And in that time, Chelsea had gone from being a pushover to a quiet, self-contained, mousy girl. And soon she turned into a gray, boring, and very shy teenage girl. Would you be able to watch your best friend slowly turn into a mousy girl? So I couldn't, and I decided to rediscover the real Chelsea for the world at all costs. But my inquiries were almost fruitless. It was as if Chelsea was not interested in anything at all. But a person can't be indifferent to everything. I decided to follow her. Surveillance showed that Chelsea had been hanging out at the comic book store all day. But she hated comics. It wasn't them. And then it all fell into place. The young salesman that Chelsea was staring at. That was the reason. As soon as Chelsea was out on the street, I caught up with her and hugged her saying, Hi, I know your secret. She was taken aback. But when I asked her about her feelings for the store employee, she immediately flushed. It turned out that Chelsea was head over heels in love, but was afraid to take the first step. I was not an expert in love affairs, but I had a few brief affairs over the past year. And I decided to help Chelsea win her love at all costs. But it turned out that Chelsea was inspired by her parents. A girl should not take the first step and meet the person she likes on her own. I tried to convince her that it was not terrible to get acquainted. I had already met several times myself. But Chelsea laughed in my face. She said she saw with her own eyes how guys were hitting on me. It was not called met. Chelsea's laugh cut me to the core. I was not sitting at home slowly fading away. I had to put her in her place. Chelsea threw it in my face that she wouldn't believe it until at least one guy I met kissed me. Ten was better. I stopped Chelsea with a gesture and replied, let it be at least a few dozen. You'll see. Stupid, mean, boring Chelsea. I wanted so much to get her back, but I'd forgotten how cheeky she was. But a deal was a deal. I decided to start with a cafe where I immediately found a guy sitting alone. I sat down next to him and started telling him about myself and complimenting him. It took a few minutes of our acquaintance. Everything was going quite well. The guy even smiled sweetly, but suddenly... He turned to me, startled, took the earpiece out of his ear and asked me what I wanted from him. I ran without looking, burning with shame. 
The first attempt failed, but it was too early to give up. I decided to try my luck in the park and joined a passing (laughs) handsome man. We smiled at each other, introduced, and I tried to charm him, but... God, he was so fast! I gradually started to fall behind and the guy just shrugged. For fans of running, nothing was more important than running. Trying to catch my breath, I watched the guy run away from me and with him, my hope of winning the argument. I realized that street dating was really not my thing. Was Chelsea right? And it was a girl's fate to wait patiently for the first step from a guy? But when Chelsea asked me how I was doing, I realized I wasn't ready to admit defeat. (laughs) I returned to the internet and almost agreed to a date with some guy when I accidentally came across an interesting place. Lonely Hearts Club. A closed club with a fee for entry, strict rules and only for serious people, so it was written in the rules. I skimmed through the list of participants for the next meeting and saw some guys and a couple of short-haired girls. Brilliant, almost no competition. It wasn't until I got to the meeting that I realized why all the guys were there. Damn, these guys were only interested in guys. Oh, now I understood why there were so many rules and entry fees. The members of the club were really serious about finding love. What was I supposed to do? I had already paid my participation fee, so I stayed until the end of the day. I listened to a couple of seminars, drank free coffee, and talked to the guys, avoiding awkward questions. As a personal request, I asked all the guys to take pictures of us hugging and kissing. The guys agreed with pleasure, and I got a huge number of pictures. Chelsea was in shock. She didn't expect me to win this stupid argument. I made her fulfill her promise to go and meet her lover. Chelsea started asking me for advice, and I started making things up. Be assertive, come confidently, take his hand, and boldly say, let's go on a date. We went into the store, and I shouldered Chelsea toward her fate. However, Chelsea, pale and nervous, walked past the young salesman and approached to a trading floor employee. And then it hit me. All this time, Chelsea was not looking at the guy, but at that inconspicuous girl. That's for sure my friend was on fire. I rushed to save her, but before I could, Chelsea had already reached her lover. Chelsea confidently took the girl by the hand and said to the whole store in a confident voice, let's go on a date. There was a look of horror in the girl's eyes. But when she came to her senses, she gently refused Chelsea. A minute later, I was comforting my best friend in a nearby park. Feeling guilty before her, I decided to tell her everything. I told her how I tried to meet guys and how it ended. And then I told her about the Lonely Hearts Club. Chelsea listened to me without showing any emotion. And when I finished, she just laughed. I expected anything but this. Chelsea was laughing, clutching her stomach and wiping away tears. Soon we were laughing together. Two friends who were on fire as in the old days. (laughs) And I realized that now we began to understand each other again. We were sisters again. Chelsea was accepted into the club. And there she met a girl with whom she had a stormy affair. Well... I pulled myself together and ventured to get acquainted for the first time once again. And you know what? I did it. But that's another story. Did you have any awkward moments when you met someone? How did you manage to win the heart of a loved one? Tell us about it in the comments. And also, put a like, 
subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you don't miss new videos.